Hello everyone and welcome to the course ROS for Beginners, Basics, Motion and OpenCV. ROS is the main development framework for robotics applications. However, it takes a long time for new users to grasp well the concepts and understand well the internal mechanics of ROS due to the steep learning curve. I'm glad to put this course at the hands of the ROS beginner users to learn ROS quickly, easily and efficiently, step by step with a clear roadmap. This course is a result of several years of experience of teaching, working, and developing programs with ROS. I am Anis Kuba, and I will be your instructor in this course. I am a full professor in computer science, and I enjoy and have long experience with developing programs with ROS for both academia and industry. I am also the leader of the Robotics and Internet of Things lab at Prince Sultan University, where I'm developing research around deep learning, Internet of Things, robots, and drones. I have taught ROS for university students, and this allowed me to understand well the problems that make the students struggle to learn ROS and develop solutions to overcome them. I have also developed training programs for learning ROS in the context of research projects. I've developed several contributions to ROS, including the ROSLink protocol to ensure the internet connectivity of ROS-enabled robots, several free tutorials on robot operating systems available on GateTech EDU website, in addition to five book editions on ROS with the Springer publisher, which are among the bestseller books in Springer. To learn ROS in this course, you just need to have some basic understanding of the Python and C++ programming languages. If you do not have a background on robotics, do not worry about this, as I will explain all the important concepts in details. This course is the first course in my three Udemy courses on ROS. In this first course, you will learn all the core concepts of ROS in addition to motion, computer vision, and different types of perception sensors. My second course, that is the part two, which is a bestseller course, focuses on the concept of localization navigation and building maps with robots using SLAM techniques. Finally, my third course covers the next generation version of ROS, that is ROS2, which is still under development. Let's look at the learning path you will be following in this course. So this course is organized in three main parts. The first part deals with ROS basics and fundamental concepts. First, you will learn how to install ROS on your Bento machine and easily set up your workspace and ROS packages. Then, you will learn the fundamental concepts of ROS, namely the ROS computation graph that includes nodes, topics, messages, services, and action leap. I will demonstrate to you how to develop simple programs with ROS in both C++ and Python client libraries. The second part of this course deals with the motion in ROS. After mastering the ROS concepts, you will learn how to make a robot move in space, either in a straight line or in rotation, or both combined. You will learn how to build a robot cleaning application using the Turtle Sim Simulator, that makes the robot moves in different trajectories and simulates a cleaner robot. I will show you how to develop this application both using C++ client library and also the Python client library. You will also learn how to decompose a large robotic problem into a subset of problems and solve them one by one to develop the whole global solution. In the section of robot motion, you will also understand the robot kinematics concept and how to control a robot motion with ROS. The third part of the course deals with the robot perception, which spans over two sections. One section on computer vision using OpenCV, and the second section deals with laser scanner sensors used for obstacle avoidance. In the first perception section, we present an overview of computer vision with OpenCV, which is the most powerful library to develop computer vision and image processing algorithms. We also demonstrate several programs of OpenCV to process images on ROS and show how to bridge between raw images format in ROS and the OpenCV image format. The second perception section provides a coverage on laser scanners, present their functionalities and the main sensors available in the market. Then you will learn how to develop ROS programs that read laser scanner data and transform it into action to avoid obstacles. At the end of this course, 
you will also learn how to use Arduino boards and sensors with ROS and how to interface between each other using the ROS serial protocol. This course also provides several quizzes and activities so that the student can assess his understanding of the concept presented in the lectures. All the quizzes and activities are provided with their solutions. At the end, this course provides a comprehensive overview of robot operating system and allows a new user to quickly find his path into developing his own project with ROS. Welcome to the course.